A lot of you are asking how I take something like this and get it on the robot and get the robot to move it. Like what's this mechanism made out of? And how do I take something like this passive attachment and get it on the robot so quickly with just a, a few pieces of Lego? Let's, let's build them. Let's, I'm gonna share my secret. First thing let's do is build the uh, simplest of the uh, two, and that's the passive attachment connector that goes on the front frame of the robot so quickly using the black um, pegs that are there. Now you could actually use the tan pegs or the or blue pegs that are half this size on this robot there as well, but uh, I like the longer ones uh, just for the extra safety of um, it's not going to come off. So. What you need, 15 black bean, yellow two by four um, connectors, L-beams, and four black pegs. That is it. What you're gonna do is you're going to, whoop, you're going to take one of the L-beams, put one in the corner and one here, and then stick it on like this. Then you're gonna do the same with this one, although opposite. So make sure you have it here and here. So they both point out the same way. And there you have it. You can build off of that passive attachment connector. It's on the robot. It's not gonna come off. It's off the robot onto the next thing. Now I've used this uh, for in, in the videos for the, the house, for um, things that require forks that come out of it, uh, that you can move stuff around, um, the uh, move in the houses in the City Shapers game and uh, all kinds of stuff like that where you can have stuff that doesn't necessarily need a motor, you can just build off of this, put it on the robot really quickly, the robot comes back to the home area, take it off and you're on to the next thing. Next for the active attachments that actually attach into the front of the robot here, let's take a look at how that is done. I'm gonna start with this uh, pink three by three plate or purple three by whatever color this is, uh, three by three plate. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to stick some black pegs in the <clears throat> in the uh, side, uh, ultimately right now it doesn't matter what side, uh, and then I'm gonna take these um, yellow axle cover thingies, I don't know what they are, but uh, I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna put them on the black peg like that. Next, I'm gonna take a three by five, uh, or I'm sorry, a five by seven picture frame. Yours could be gray, black, green, whatever color and I'm gonna kind of set it around that just like that so I can move it around like that next I'm gonna take blue pegs and I'm gonna clip it all in I'm gonna go all the way through to the yellow things and all the way through on this side into the purple things so that is not coming out of there Next, I'm gonna take some three by uh, three T's and I'm gonna put them on those blue pegs that are coming out. Again, yours could be yellow or gray or whatever color. Mine just happened to be black. That's what I picked up out of the bin. And then I am ready to uh, put my, put my uh, uh, axle or my gears in. So I'm gonna take uh, a number four, a number three will also work. Uh, a number four, uh, but it can't be longer than a four. A number three or uh, a number four axle. 
and uh, I'm going to stick it in the center hole of this uh, uh, plate with this small bevel gear attached, just like that. So it, it comes out. So I'm going to put the small bevel gear on and then stick it in there. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put this uh, large black gear just like that. So it kind of sticks out the back. And if I spin the black gear, it spins the bevel gear. If I spin the bevel gear, it spins the black gear. All right. Next, for the last piece of the puzzle, I'm going to set that there. And I'm going to grab two of these uh, uh, these gears, they're the kind of medium sized gears and usually they're tan or black. Um, and I'm going to kind of line them up here and I'm going to stick an axle that's long enough to reach all the way through, through there, line them all up and through there. And now we are done. And you might be asking, why do I have two gears here? Can't I just put a spacer in there? Sure, you can. Um, actually, this came straight from uh, Lego uh, on their advanced robot attachments uh, that they, they have. Uh, they, it's, there's some slight differentiation. There might be different pieces in here. I'm not quite remembering off the top of my head, but this came straight from Lego. That's what they did, uh, and I just uh, never changed it. But you can put a spacer in there if you'd like to, so only the gears are, are touching, but a gear's just the same. Then you can stick it on the front, clip it in, clip it out, change it out, and you're good to go. There you have it. You can change out attachments quickly using uh, this bumper piece that goes on and off and make things like this that I use for the home delivery video or uh, a couple other videos that are in the works with that type of thing. Or you could do something like this that goes up and down. Uh, and I use this for the wind turbine, the trucks, the airplane and the, tr the truck and the airplane cargo thing and um, all kinds of things. It's, this little guy's super useful. Uh, I hope that helps. Uh, answer some questions and inspires you on some missions and how to use this thing to its full potential. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.